Hi, we're the Handys. Uh, my name is Ralph Handy. Um, we, this is a story about Toby. And uh, we went to the Humane Society to look for actually for a companion for our, uh, our aging dog. Uh, we have a black lab uh, husky mix who's going to turn 17. His name is Willie. And he's getting older. And we thought maybe if we get a dog, we, we could show him the ropes. So. We, we went looking and uh, my daughter, Sophia, she found online at the Oshkosh Humane Society, Toby. And Toby uh, is 96 pound beagle, he's a little bit overweight, so he wasn't gonna run circles around Willie, it might be a good fit. So we uh, arranged for them to meet and they met. And Willie didn't want anything to do with uh, Toby right away, but their best buds right now. But uh, uh, that's what we did. Uh, we went there and uh, we mm -hmm. fell in love with them. In November. So we went Christmas tree hunting in Wild Rose. We go to every year and we took both dogs this time with us. And then when we went up there, he was, got so excited. And this was our first experience that we found out when Toby gets excited, he hyperventilates and he rolls. So we have this dog rolling and hyperventilating, and all the people at the farm that were there, is he okay? And Elijah right away had to go over there, and he's opening his mouth of Toby so that he could breathe. And once he got over it, and then we were able to go up into the woods and chop down our tree, and he was so thrilled to get, get a Christmas tree. But it was funny to see that the excitement in him, what little things can do like that. It was part of the handy Christmas tree adventure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he kind of made it for us, didn't he? I didn't think we'd have trouble getting a 96-pound beagle in the truck, but uh, I tried to deadlift him up in. It was pretty hard to do. I thought, what have we done? <laughs> but uh, he, I got him in there, and I have to say now he's lost 25 pounds, and he's getting up a little bit easier. Uh, Willie showed him how to do it, puts his paws on the back of the truck and then I just kind of push him in. And he's starting to do the stairs now, so he's doing very well. Take your time in adopting a dog. We went back and forth to the shelter a few times. We went onto the website a few times and not just the one for Winnebago, but all over the place just to adopt. But we kept going back to Winnebago since that's the one that's closest to us. And eventually the one dog or cat that you just know is going to be the one that's going to touch you the most, go there and just check it out. And it's a great facility at the, at the Humane Society here. It's great to see the cats being able to run around. I know at other Humane Societies they don't allow that. And so I was surprised to see that here, that they allow the cats to run around. They have a great area for the dogs to go out in, which is more than even the other societies have. And it's just, in comparative to all the other ones, I think we made the right right choice to go and adopt and it's just keep looking eventually that dog or cat's going to be there that you want if they didn't have the shelter we wouldn't have got toby and it's hard to think what what would have happened if we didn't adopt him he they might have put him down and they didn't have a shelter exactly yeah with not. everybody it's a great way to get the dog with the puppy mills that are out now and it's just it's very difficult at the pet stores to where do they get the dog from and at least you have a slight history with with a dog and if you're saving a dog all the better all I can say and right instead of rescuing a dog I, I look at it as gaining a friend because mm -hmm. he's really part of the family now